here we are in light burn. I uh, just want to run you through the um, the material test area that uh, light burn has um, under laser tools. Some of you may be or may be not aware of it, but it's very, very handy. So laser tools, scroll down to material test. And then we can go in and uh, we can customize all these. Um, we'll open up the preview, just uh, the standard settings that you will find in here before you can configure anything. Right, so what we've got is from 10 to 100% power, going up in 10% intervals, and speed from 10 to 300. Now, if we just uh, try and to get a setting for cutting, say, 3mm MDF, acrylic, plywood, etc., we're not going to be anywhere in, up in those speeds so I'll show you how to configure this quickly uh, for a simple power and speed setting um, also you can add a file which I'll upload that you can add by importing presets here but uh, we'll just show you this starters now we can go up to 11 rows on each that's the maximum and you've got different ones here you can select but uh, we want speed and power for this one now you can select minimum power minimum speed is 10 maximum we don't want it 300 because 50 will be more than enough because if we can cut through 3 mm material at over 50 millisecond our lasers run pretty damn well now the height this is actually the height of the squares, so we'll make them a little bigger. You need to select there, not we'll make them 10 mil. And make them 10 mil. You can make them bigger or smaller, but that will determine on the area it uses um, to do the test. Now Y center and X center, that's the actual center of where it will cut um, on your bed so um, you can change them if you know a little bit about how to determine that or if not um, you can just go frame and it'll actually frame the area of the laser now if we open up preview right um, we it shows us our power from 10 to 100 and that and 10 to 50 right because we've got a set power now i've also uploaded a file already into the file section some of you may have seen if you've seen it before this video was uploaded um, now how to upload that you need to open this material test generator and have this open it will not open through the files open or import um, it's a different file type and it needs to open this material test generator so um, to import that file hover over that it says import presets so we're going to import a preset and this is the file the first one I've uploaded I'll upload some different ones uh, right, and this will open now you need to select this into presets this will then show in our presets there was nothing in there before and this will open so when we go to preview it will open it shows from 20 to 60 percent power and 10 to 50 percent power play will actually just give you a basic rundown of how it will cut them 10 and 50 and that's it right um, now edit text setting that edits your I'll just open this up again I shouldn't have closed it this will edit the speed and the power for these engraving settings so you can see what each box is so just go in here and check it should just um, if you've selected that preset of um, uploaded um, it should set it to those but that should give you an, um, enough to mark on the material well and truly 
um, frame, yeah, just frame it. And to start it, you can push start, pause, or stop. Um, I'll upload a few other presets for different things um, over the next day or two uh, for you to try out, but the cut one's already uploaded. I think that's about all to get you started on a yeah, material test to get your writing speed and power settings for your material anyway. So any questions just ask in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching.